Seek the lowest place, give honor to the lowly, 22nd Sunday of Ordinary Time, Year C. In today's Gospel passage, Jesus cautions us from taking places of honor. When you are invited by anyone to a marriage feast, do not sit down in a place of honor. The Greek word for a place of honor is protoklesion, which is based on two words, protos, meaning first or chief, and klino, which means a seat to recline on. The seat Jesus is referring to is more of a couch, which was placed in the most prominent place in a banquet. Instead of seeking places of honor, instead of seeking comfortable positions from which we can rule from, to be chiefs and be secure in, Jesus tells us to choose the lowest, lowest, lowliest place, and only if invited to take a higher place, only if invited to take a place of honor, to then accept this position of prominence, but not to first seek it. Jesus turns his attention from someone receiving a position of honor to a person giving positions of honor. He similarly teaches that instead of inviting friends, brothers, rich neighbors, we should invite the poor, the maimed, the lame, the blind. For some of us, these two teachings of Jesus are difficult to accept, since we are so accustomed to seeking rewards and giving rewards to those who we in turn expect to receive something in return, money, power, honor. According to Jesus, this calculating way of approaching relationships is contrary to the wisdom of God, who makes his sun rise on the evil and on the good, and sends rain on the just and on the unjust. We have heard these two teachings of Jesus on receiving and giving rewards in the context of the greatest prayer in the Church, the prayer of the Holy Mass. May we allow Jesus' teachings to transform our approach to Holy Mass, and consequently to transform all our prayers, and may these prayers in turn transform how we act specifically to how we relate to those we perceive as enemies, and whom we would not want to be offered a place of prominence, nor whom we would want to reward. During this Mass, may we take to heart the words of the Our Father prayer, Forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. In respect to this Christian attitude of loving even our enemies, the Desert Father Abba Zeno taught that, If a man wants God to hear his prayer quickly, Then before he prays for anything else, even his own soul, when he stands and stretches out his hands towards God, he must pray with all his heart for his enemies. Through this action, God will hear everything that he asks. God bless.